it's physiology so let's get into it before the proceeding i would like to suggest that kindly check my kidney video where i have covered its structure uh, anatomy and function of the whole kidney its physiology anatomy so it would be better if you take a recap of that video and then watch this so what is the urinary system the urinary system which is also known as renal system it consists of kidneys ureters bladders and urethras so it's a prime its primary function are to filter the blood remove the waste and regulate fluid and electrolyte balance so the key player in this system are the kidneys which are often referred to as the body's natural filters so it is responsible for filtering the waste products from the blood and excreting them as urine so this system plays a very crucial role in maintaining the hemostasis by regulating water balance electrolyte levels and blood pressure so anatomy of urinary system first kidneys it's a two bean shaped organs which is located on the either sides of the spine which is responsible for waste products and producing urine so kindly check the video of anatomy and physiology of kidney which i have already covered i'll provide the link in the description so i'll do a key term re uh, recap of kidneys so each kidney is approximate has approximately 1 million functional units of nephrons so these nephrons are responsible for filtering the blood and producing urine so nephron is the basis okay so let's break that process first glomerulus the part it's a part of nef uh, nephron glomerulus blood enters the uh, the nephron through the glomerulus a network which is a network of tiny blood vessels here the blood is filtered and the waste is segregated so along with some water and nutrient pass into the bowman's capsule from there we have proximal convoluted tubules loop of henle and distal convoluted tubule so the proximal convoluted tubules which is also known as in short pct filters filtrate move uh, the filtrates moves into the proximal uh, convoluted tubules where essential nutrients and most of the water are reabsorbed back into the blood streams from loop of henle next it enters the loop of henle which creates a concentration gradient that allows for further water reabsorption then we have distal convoluted tubules which is also known as in short dct the filtrate then moves to dct where the additional and the final uh, where the additional adjustments are made which includes the electrolyte balance from there the collecting duct finally the filtrate enters into the collecting duct where the final concentration of the urine occurs based on body's hydration status okay so that was all about the quick recap of how the waste and filtration absorption reabsorption is taking place so do check the video as well moving further to ureters these are two narrow tubes that carries the urine from the kidney to the bladder so it's a mediator that passes the urine uh, forms the urine filters and then it is delivered to the bladder so we'll see the formation of the urine so the formation of the urine is tightly regulated by the hormones so primarily we'll discuss that one by one anti diuretic hormone this hormone increases water reabsorption in the collecting duct which helps in to concentrate urine when the body is dehydrated so very important adh anti diuretic hormone then we have aldosterone this hormone promotes the sodium reabsorption in the dcts distal convoluted tubules so sodium gets reabsorbed which indirectly influences water's retention and blood pressure next we have uh, natri uretic peptides so these hormones help to decrease blood volume and pressure by promoting sodium excretion okay then we'll come to bladder a muscular sac that stores urine before it is excreted from the body function of the urinary system is to waste removal it filters the waste products from the blood such as urea
creatinine and excess electrolytes then fluid balance regulates the volume of water in the body by controlling the urine production electrolyte balance it maintains how such as sodium potassium calcium in the blood so electrolyte balance is maintained by sodium potassium and calcium absorption reabsorption and all blood pressure regulation it plays a role in regulating blood pressure by producing hormones that affect blood vessels concentration so kidney structure and function nephrons we have already discussed responsible for filtering the blood producing urine glomerular structures we saw millions of nephrons are already present how they filter i just discussed tubules series of tube tubes within the nephrons the dct pct is loop of henle conducting ducts okay so how that where the reabsorption takes place i have already covered collecting duct so the tube collects the urine from multiple nephrons and delivered to ureter from ureter goes to the bladder so bladder and ureter now so once the urine is formed it is traveled down the ureters to the bladder where it stores stored until it's ready to be excreted so bladder is a muscular organ that expands as it fills when it reaches a certain volume stretch reflex signals in the brain promotes the urge to urinate so we have this external and internal splinters once they both relax the voiding of urine happens and when that relaxes when the signals from the brain comes down for the command from the brain comes that we have to relax it then it gets relaxed how that signal comes by the stretch receptor signals okay so it's a muscular sac which holds the urine and it also responsible for excreting or voiding the urine ureter urethra a tube that carries urine from the bladder to the outside of the body we have splinters just just now i mentioned internal and external splinters so muscles that control the flow of urine from the bladder okay so that was how the kidneys filter reabsorb from ureter it comes to bladder from urethra the splinters play the role brain stretch receptor signals are activated urine is voided all that uh, physiology and function we saw how the step by step function formation voiding is done by the kidneys and bladder in conjunction so urinary formation and excretion filtration we saw blood is filtered in glomerulus removing the waste products excess fluid reabsorption secretion and excretion where the urine is collected in the collecting duct and transported to the bladder for shortage and eventually excretion so common disorders here we have is urinary tract infections uti is written in short in medical uh, papers uti so it's a bacterial infection for of the urinary tract which causes pain burning sensation uri while urination and frequent urination as well then kidney stones hard deposits of minerals that form in the kidney which causes pain blood in the urine and even sometimes nausea is form, felt by the patient then kidney failure a condition where the kidneys are unable to filter waste products from the blood requiring dialysis or transplantation then urinary incontinence involuntary leakage of the urine while sneezing or coughing you know wherever there is a in increase in intra abdominal pressure and the person is having urinary incontinence there will be involuntary leakage of the urine so this occurs due to various factors including age pregnancy and medical conditions so we'll do a quick recap the urinary system plays a crucial role in maintaining our body's internal environment by filtering the blood regulating fluids and electrolytes and waste uh, excreting the waste so understanding this system not only highlights its importance but also sheds light on many health conditions related to kidney function if you found this video informative please give it a thumb subscribe for more content
and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an update let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below thanks for watching and see you next time god bless you all